to our channel so in today's session i am going to make you understand about the axis attribute because in uh, the numpy we are uh, supposed to see a lot of uh, inbuilt functions so for all the built in functions where there will be a common attribute most of the built in functions will be having a common attribute called axis so we are supposed to do the operations based upon the axis and uh, i am getting a lot of requests from the uh, viewers that there is a slight confusion regarding the usage of axis attribute in uh, numpy uh, functions especially in the sort function right so in uh, today's session i will clear all the doubts so axis attribute so understanding the axis attribute see here the numpy means working on multi dimensional axis so rather than using the list we are using the arrays by using the numpy package in python okay so here we can have the multi dimensional array so not not the single dimensional array we can use the multi dimensional array then only we can get this axis axis 0 and axis 1 so simple thing axis is equal to 0 means column representation or uh, axis is equal to 1 means the row operations that means the operations should be done on column wise if axis is equal to 0 and the operations should be done on uh, row wise if it is axis is equal to 1 that should be remembered that's it and uh, we know that the representation of two dimensional array so here we will use a numpy dot array of we have to pass the multi dimensional i will take a multi dimensional now some 40 10 30 okay 10 5 15 okay so this is the thing i have initialized so after executing this one one two dimensional that means see here this is a two dimensional 2 into 3 so the shape of an array is 2 comma 3 that means a two rows and each row is having three elements okay two rows and each is having three elements so i will represent in a matrix format 40 10 30 similarly 10 5 and 15 okay so you can observe here now first one if axis is equal to 0 apply the sort okay that means numpy dot sort let it be a is equal to okay some a is equal to a comma axis is equal to 0 Just I want to implement this one. So I want to sort the elements based upon the zero taxes. So zero taxes means operations should be done on column wise. Column wise means see this is the one column, this is the another column, and this is the another column. Okay, the sorting will be done on column wise. Now forty and ten, forty and ten sort must be done for these two elements. So it will become ten, forty, and ten and five. so it will become 5 10 30 and 15 it will become 15 and 30 so this is the thing we will get the result after applying the sort along with the axis 0 that means 0 means whatever the function we are using here 0 means that operation should be done on a column wise and if it is an axis 1 Okay, if it is an axis one, see numpy dot sort of a comma axis is equal to one. If it is an axis one, row wise operations will be done. See here, if you observe here, so forty ten. Similarly, ten five. Similarly, thirty fifteen. now the row wise operations will be done that means here we are using the sort operation sorting shall be done row wise so row means this way this way so the result will be 40 10 30 10, so automatically sorted order means 10 30 40
10, 5, 15. Again, we have to solve. So 5, 10, 15. So this is the result we will get if you apply the sort. If you apply the sort along with the axis 1. So this is the only thing you have to remember. If you remember these things and the axis attribute is very easy. Okay, so axis is equal to 0 means column wise operations will be done. Axis is equal to 1 means row wise operations will be done. Okay, so I will explain you, I will demonstrate this axis by applying in the sorting sort function. Uh, so we will see the demonstration in the interpreter. Let us move on to the interpreter. Hello friends. So just now we have seen the uh, axis attributes because uh, many of the uh, built-in functions in NumPy, especially in NumPy, we are having this uh, attribute as a common thing that is uh, axis because we are working on a multi-dimensional array in order to apply these uh, functions in, in terms of uh, different rows or columns, we, we are supposed to use this axis attribute. Now I, I will show you the demonstration of axis. So first we will import the NumPy. I will give a, some alias name so that I have to call everything all the built-in functions of NumPy with the alias name ENP. Okay, so first we'll create uh, the value. Okay, a is equal to some NP dot uh, array, and let us take a multi-dimensional array. Okay, multi-dimensional array. I will take a few elements. See, 40 comma 30, 20 comma 50. So again, 50 or 30. Okay, comma. Again, I take the few more elements. Some 90. 30 some 40 okay see so I have taken this two dimensional array right so you can go with the print a if you print a automatically we get we'll get that so uh, <coughs> now let us uh, use this axis as I have said that so uh, I will show you in sorting technique okay sort a comma axis is equal to 0 so one thing just remember zero axis zero means columns okay axis zero means columns so in each column wise the first column will be getting the uh, sorted order okay so you can observe here so 40 90 20 30 30 40 okay so if you observe the same thing will be getting because all, already in the first column 40 is the smallest in the second column 20 is the smallest and the third column 30 is the smallest so i will change i will change it okay let, let, us let us change some 10 and uh, here uh, we'll take it as some 50 okay so now now let us check you can understand now so here if, if you apply the same thing np dot sort and uh, a and axis is equal to 0 that means a column wise so as i have said that column wise so first column, what is the lowest value? 40. So 40 will be printed. And 50 and 30, what is the lowest value? 30. So 30 will be printed first. And 30 and 10. So 10 will be printed. So the sorting will be done on the column wise. Okay, you can observe here. Sorting will be done on column wise. If x is equal to 0. Right? And if, if you execute the same thing with the help of 1. 1 means row wise. 1 means row wise. See, you can get it. See, this is the value of a 40 50 30 among these things 30 is the lowest one so this will be sorted and here 90 30 and 10 so 10 30 90 will be sorted so row wise sorting will be done if x is equal to 1 and column wise sorting will be done if x is equal to 0 right so that's the only thing you have to remember that if if x is 0 then the operations will be done on column wise and if the axis is 1 the operations will be the function will be done on row wise. So uh, this I have been saying because so many of the building functions will be having the same attribute like access and also I'm getting a lot of requests that there is a somewhat confusion regarding this access. Okay, so hope uh, I, I, after uh, viewing this session, so your doubts may be clarified. So if you are having still any doubts, so you can feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely we will try to clarify all your doubts. Okay, if you really understood my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching. Thank you very much.